In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. As mentioned earlier, today is the feast day of St. John Baptiste Mary John Vianney. He, is, he was priest. He died in 1859 and universally known as the Cure of Ars, compassionate confessor and spiritual counselor. He was patron of, he is patron of priests, both diocesan and religious. Sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in and what, what I have failed to do, through, through my fault, through my fault, through my, through through my, my most grievous fault, fault Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, who made the priest St. John Vianney wonderful in his pastoral seal, grant, we pray, that through his intercession and example, we may in charity win brothers and sisters for Christ and attain with them eternal glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. The following message came to Jeremiah from the Lord. For thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, Write all the words I have spoken to you in a book. For thus says the Lord, Incurable is your wound, grievous your bruise. There is none to plead your cause. No remedy for your running sore, no healing for you. All your lovers have forgotten you. They do not seek you. I struck you as an enemy would strike, punished you cruelly. Why cry over your wound? Your pain is without relief. Because of your great guilt, 
your numerous sins, I have done this to you. Thus says the Lord, See, I will restore the tents of Jacob, his dwellings I will pity. City shall be rebuilt upon hill, and palace restored as it was. From them will resound songs of praise, the laughter of happy men. I will make them not few, but many. They will not be tiny, for I will glorify them. His sons shall be as of old. His assembly before me shall stand firm. I will punish all his oppressors. His leader shall be one of his own, and his rulers shall come from his kin. When I summon him, he shall approach me. How else should one take the deadly risk of approaching me, says the Lord? You shall be my people, and I will be your God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will build, build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The nations shall reveal your name, O Lord, and all the kings of the earth your glory. When the Lord has rebuilt Zion and appear in his glory, when he has regarded the prayer of the destitute and not despised their prayer. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. Let this be written for the generation to come and let his future creatures praise the Lord. The Lord looked down from his holy height. From heaven he beheld the earth. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. The children of your servants shall abide, and their posterity shall continue in your presence, that the name of the Lord may be declared on Zion and his praise in Jerusalem when the peoples gather together and the kingdoms to serve the Lord. The Lord will build up Zion again and appear in all his glory. We will now honor the Holy Gospel. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Some Pharisees and scribes came to Jesus from Jerusalem and said, Why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? They do not wash their hands when they eat a meal. He summoned the crowd and said to them, Hear and understand. It is not what enters one's mouth that defiles the man, but what comes out of the mouth is what defiles one. <clears throat> then his disciples approached and said to him, Do you know what the, that the Pharisees took offense when they heard what you said? 
He said in reply, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be uprooted. Let them alone. They are blind guides of the blind. If a blind man leads a blind man, both will fall into a pit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, o Lord Jesus Christ. Once again, good morning to everyone. Ayon po sa ating Panginoong Yesu Kristo sa Ebanghelyo ngayon, ang lumalabas sa bibig ng tao, hindi ang pumapasok ang siya nagpaparumi sa Kanya sa paningin ng Diyos. To further explain this, please allow me to relay a story. Is a story of a teacher and his students. Once, yung teacher tells his students a story of the battle of two wolves inside the hearts of men and women. Yung first wolf I was a bad wolf represents anger, envy, fear, inferiority, and indifference. Pag sinabing indifference, yan po pala yung, yung battle cry ni Ellie Weisel. Siya yung Jewish na naka during the concentration camp ng Nazi, nakaligtas siya doon. At after na nakaligtas na siya, yun na kanyang advocacy na kung pwede daw, kasi ang number one na sin ng mundo ngayon is indifference yung wala nang pakialam sa suffer ng iba. The other wolf naman was the good wolf which represents faith in God, joy, peace, love, hope, humility, truth, and generosity. According po sa teacher, the, path, the battle of these two wolves inside our hearts is never ending and it's lifetime. Hanggang tumanda ang tao, the battle will be there inside all of us. So nagtanong naman yung isang studyante, why is it so? Sa, ang sagot ng teacher ay, so long we are humans, we will have this battle inside our hearts and this battle happens every day. Then an intelligent student asks, then who, will, who wins the battle of the wolves? in the daily basis. So, sino mananalo between these two battles, between the good wolf and the bad wolf? Ang sagot po ng teacher ay, it depends on whom you fed. Depende daw kung sino ating pinapakain. In short, mananalo ang mananalo kung kanino natin ibinibigay ang ating oras, focus, attention, and energy. Kaya nga po, maganda tanungin na ating sarili in this battle of the two wolves inside our hearts. To whom do we give our loyalty, time, and attention? Do we feed and give ourselves to the bad wolf which represents anger, envy, fear? Or do we feed and give our attention to the good wolf inside of us? which represents faith in God, joy, peace, and love. So let us be reminded in today's Gospel that if we, if we choose to feed the bad wolf, manghihina po ang good wolf inside us, and the bad wolf will rule our lives. And to have the bad wolf rule our life is going to be disorderly. We will fall on the cliff, on the pit. But if we want for the good wolf to win inside our hearts, we have to feed it every day with prayer, with faith, with trust and hope and love. But alam nyo po, to feed the good wolf every day, 
is called an inner commitment of the heart. At ito yung gusto ni Jesus na magkaroon tayo sa ating puso. Inner commitment of the heart to always choose what is true, what is just, and what will give us true peace and hope. Prayer of the faithful. Rarely do we remember our pastors who help us each day in our spiritual needs. On this feast day of Saint John Mary Vianney, let us remember them in our prayers. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May the Holy Spirit guide our pastors in leading the flock to the ways of holiness. May they have genuine zeal for saving souls. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May the lay faithful collaborate in the various programs and activities of our shrine. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May by their generosity, Christian parents nurture their religious vocation in their family. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And may our deceased priests and bishops be made worthy to share in the Master's table. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our personal intentions and the intentions offered in this Mass. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, through the intercession of Sa of Saint John Mary Vianney, guide and protect our parish pastors. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of Blessed John Vianney, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through the sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. John Vianney, you bid your church rejoice, 
so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial, of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face, 
have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor shores forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by His divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Ang kapayapaan ng Panginoon Diyos ay laging sumain nyo. At sumain nyo rin. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already here and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast of blessed John Vianney, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray, Dalrasho Imperata. God, our, our Father, Father, we come, come to you in our need to, to ask your protection against, against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We, we pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and virgin. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calunsod, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jansen and Joseph Reynadimet, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And may our Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.